from Sierra Mans. In this video, I'm going to explain how we can create the custom PCF control. So in my previous uh, video, I have explained how we can create the PCF custom control project. So after creating a project, the first step is that we have to implement the manifesto, manifest file. That's it. That's a basic configuration file. We have to uh, do the configuration. Let, let's see like okay, what is the manifesto file and where you have to configure that. So after you create the project, so piece of control project after you create, so basically it will, uh, it will create this folder structure. So this is like a PCF is my custom uh, folder, which uh, I have created. So in uh, the, the CRM PCF project, so that's a basic control project, which I have created. If you expand that, you can see generated, there's a one folder will be there. And after that, we have a control manifesto, control manifest, dot import dot xml file this is a file is a very 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 important for us so in this session we are going to explain about this manifesto file so here this manifesto file is an xml file so here you have like a various uh, tags xml tags it is there so the first tag is a manifesto tag so under that you will have like a control tag under that after that, like at the manifesto will under the control tag, you will have uh, so many sub tags. So let's discuss first one by one. So the control tag, we have like a, the control tag, we have a namespace. So this namespace we have provided at the time of the project creation and the constructor name. So we have pro basically it will take the folder name of the uh, project uh, project and the version so this is like a the control version number it will take it and display name key is like a unique unique name for this uh, display name of the control and that that should be unique and the description key so that's a control description uh, it it will take that and the control type. So basically this control type, we have a standard standard type. So let me let me discuss more about this control tag in the theoretically. So the control manifesto is, is an XML file that contains the metadata, metadata and behavior of the code component. So the entire this, manifesto file will contains this all the metadata it's like a while you are configuring this pcf control on the model driven apps or canvas app what the properties you want to display those all the data types and everything you will be configuring the manifesto file so the first tag we have discussed the control control tag so under the control tag we have the names namespace attribute and the constructor attribute version and display name of the key and description key and the control type right namespace is the, is the, like a namespace of the total this control component and the constructor is like a con constructor of the component and the version is like a version of the component so which you can update later so whenever the new versions is, you want to you want to change it make the changes and you want to publish you can change the version number and the display name is like a name of the control and which will displace the on the UI. So description, you can write something description about the control. So control type, this code component type, only it is a standard types. The code components are supported. The nest tag, we have a property tag. So in the property tag, you will define, so like a name of the, the first prop the, in the property tag we have the uh, several attributes name display name key and description key and of type so like okay, we have basically here 
the control properties we will you will define it name means it's it's like a name of the property and display name key it will provide the display name with the no spaces you have to mention in the control so it's like a description key is like a description you will be shown in the dynamics 365 in the custom control of type if you are using the single data type then there are so many uh, there are there are some supported data types that are can be used of the of type attributes so valid value types is like a two option set whole number and currency and date and time date and time and date and time date only so single line of text i mean single line email single line phone single line text and single line text area single line ticker so these are the property data types you, you can define it and if you want to mention a of type group so you can you can mention like a group type name and you can mention like a all it's like a single line of uh, you, you can create like a, all the thing is a group of the attributes in single line of text and the data set tag it will support for the uh, where you want to display on the something in the grid the grid uh, grid type of controls you are you are uh, building that the time the data set is it data set tag will display currently in my manifesto file it won't this data set tag it won't come because i have created a uh, project type is a template type is a field so for field it won't this data set tag it won't come but whenever you take it as a data set control uh, th that time it this this tag will be displayed so here in these tags you have to uh, provide a name of the data set and the display name of the uh, data set and description and we have another tag is a resource tag so resource tags where you will display uh, where, where you will mention the code path. So basically all the code will start for the PCF control is index.ts. So ts means it's like a TypeScript file. So here you for the custom controls, PCF custom controls, you will write a TypeScript of the code. So we will discuss more about the TypeScript. So when, when we actually start the program for the uh, TypeScript programs, so that time we will discuss it. So here you will have like under resource tag, we have a sub tags, so code. So we will specify that code path where, where we will start that. Next thing is a CSS tag. So you, what are the design styles you want to display that there we will take it. And if you want to load the RESX files, so there we will display, uh, we will give that uh, file your, uh, image, uh, file you file path here and the image images if you want to load in some images in your custom piece of controls that image tag that file path you will give it in the resource tags okay so let me uh, explain in the manifesto file again let me show you the exactly what other things will come in the manifesto file so as we discuss this control tag, we'll have the, all the details about the controls, namespace and the constructor and thing. And inside the controls, we will see that external service usage is enabled or it's a false, enabled or false. If it's enabled, you have to mention that domain. Domain is a tag. You have to mention which domain they, are, they want to use it here. And, okay. So by default, like when you when you create it, it will be by default false. If you enable true, so you have to mention like which domain uh, uh, things you are using it. And the, this one property tag. So we have here we have like a name and the display name and the description keys and the type of type single line of text start thing. So if you want to use it as a group, then we have to mention like all the group of the things here. And the resources you can see here. 
So currently it's a code path tag is enabled in my project. But if you want it, you can enable the CSS path and the strings and images path, you can, you can enable it. And additionally, you have a features, right? So you have a feature usages. So if you want to capture that devices, capture the device uh, video, uh, capture the device image, and they capture the video and get barcode and this some type of the things we have. And here the most important thing is a utility. So utility is like a, our dynamic CRM. Uh, we have a, like a utility utility JavaScript, right? So that, that will give it that all the utility statements here. And if you want to use this um, xrm.webapi.retrieve and retro multiple, you can use this web API. So these are the two features we have to uncomment here when you want to use the utility and the web API. So this is all about the building a manifesto file. Manifesto file is very, very important when you are building this component control. So custom PCF controls, the manifesto file is very, very important. So, So when we are building the manifesto files, we have to be uh, very careful about the, what the properties we are going to use it in the PCF control and what is the features we are going to use it, what the CSS files we are going to use it, what are the images we are going to use it. So these all the things we have to configure in the manifesto file only. So the manifesto file is like a in the dotnet terminology it's like a web.config or app.config file so if you are a dotnet developer or dotnet guy so it's equivalent to the web.config or app.config file thank you so much for watching this video so if you like it please subscribe our channel